did it again. Good morning. <laughs> I always hit that wrong button. I go I go to the big screen for the Jaguar. Looks like my audio's working. Looks like the Jag audio's working. I've already had problems with the capture this morning, so hopefully um, that isn't a bad omen or an omen for things to come. But good morning, Matt. Reboot. CJ, good to see you. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, this week I decided to uh, I go with Iron Soldier again. Um, oh, maybe I should do my intro. Welcome to the Jag Corner. I'm Will Thorup. Uh, here at the Jag Corner we play Jag games and we do some programming every once in a while too. But that may be changing a little bit here, at least for a little little while. Um, but yeah, I, I'll get into that in just a second. Um, I want to wait until uh, potentially a few more people showing up before I uh, talk about... Uh, some things about the stream so um but yeah we're going to be playing iron soldier 2 again i think we got through about a third of it a little past a third of the game so i'm hoping to get through another third and then the last third uh tomorrow so we can finish it up um but yeah uh before we before we do that though uh he's getting a hot tub that's right <laughs> we're going to be playing everything out of my hot isn't that a thing like on twitch the whole hot tub thing wasn't there controversy <laughs> <laughs> where a bunch of uh, gals were uh, buying hot tubs and streaming out of their hot tubs. Oh, gosh. I wonder if they were buying it for, like, their apartments and stuff. That that would suck. But, uh, no, no, no hot tub. That ain't going to happen on this channel. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't cross your fingers. Um, but, yeah, I, I have a few new things I want to go over. Then we'll talk about the stream a little bit. And then we'll play some Iron Soldier 2. Uh, so let me switch over to the browser. As usual, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter at jagcorner.com, which will become uh, a little more important um, uh, after my announcements about the stream. Maybe I should just talk about that right now. Um, I guess I could talk about it right now and then talk about it at the end, and that should catch everybody. So um, what I'm, I've been, uh, I've been frustrated. I've been frustrated that I haven't finished Crescent Memories yet. Um, it's it's one of those things. It's a big project, and it's a project because of its size. I don't want to let it go, um, and so I, I've thought about a few things. I've thought about maybe releasing it for free. Um, I haven't decided on anything yet, um, but all I know is I want to finish it, and I feel like the stream the stream was actually supposed to kind of keep me in the mood of things, so I I can move forward on Crescent Memories hasn't done that, and and I was kind of I was expecting it to go either way with with that with the stream that it would actually just kind of be more of a distraction rather than a motivation to get it done. Um, I was hoping it would be a motivation, and it, and it has been a little bit. Uh, it has it has done that. It hasn't been a bad thing. The stream hasn't been a bad thing. Um, it's just it didn't have the intended effect. And so uh, I'm actually going to pull back on the streams a bit. And that doesn't mean they're going to be gone completely. Um, I was actually hoping of making them longer, but less frequent. And and yeah, so yeah, that's basically the announcement. I haven't figured out the details yet. I don't know when I'm going to stream yet, uh, how often I'm going to stream. Uh, my gut right now is telling me just once a month. And we do like a long like four or five hour stream and I'm hoping to have a guest each time too. So like one of my brothers or, or a friend or something like that. Or maybe we'll have uh, somebody phone in uh, through Zoom or whatever um, uh, video calling program we, we end up using. Um, and then we play a game or we talk about a game together or we just talk about news. Uh, do a little bit of both. And anyways, I'm... I'm so that's what I'm kind of thinking right now. I got to think about it for a little bit longer. Um, something else that's been played playing into this is, is I have been exceptionally busy the last few months. Um, and the thing is, is that may let up, uh, and, and I kind of hope it does a little bit so I can work on Crescent Memories a little bit more. Uh, but that that's played into this as well. And so doing these streams very early in the morning, um, isn't too much of a problem with me. In fact, I kind of like waking up a little bit earlier. I feel like I get more, uh, not only out of my day, but especially my morning. That's when my brain is, is working, um, the best typically. And, and so I actually like doing the streams in the morning, but if we do switch, uh, to something else, it will probably be 
at a, just at a different time. It'll probably be in the afternoon is my guessing or my evening. And so, um, yeah, so that's what I kind of have in mind. Uh, so th that's going to be changing. The other thing I had in mind uh, is if I'm not going to be streaming as much, I want to do more uh, pre-recorded content. And so I'm thinking about doing, um, and, th and this is common, especially on YouTube and Twitch, or not Twitch, but on YouTube, is pre-recording some Let's Plays and, you know, top 10 lists, that kind of stuff. And so I, I've been thinking through that. And another, another kind of side project I want to get done as well is uh, some some basic tutorials for the removers library. And I know reboot, <laughs> you might be cringing at that a little bit, um, but it's I, I kind of see it as a uh, as a going away present for uh, what that engine did for me. And so, and I have a bunch of stuff written up. I just need to sit down and record it. Um, that's what it comes down to, and which will take some time, but definitely something I want to do. I want to make sure that there's a resource there for people who want to uh, continue using that engine or 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 run into it first and and so and and i i kind of want to get that done before i do any shift over to jag studio um because i i think if i shift over to jag studio i'll never come back to it <laughs> to, to tell you the truth because jag studio looks very uh it has a lot of conveniences that uh the remover library library does not have and so anyway so that's another project you want to get on so so uh, main point there is pre-recorded content for for the jag corner um yeah so so I'm, I'm thinking about dropping the the consistent streams i'm doing switching over to maybe one big stream a month with pre-recorded content i also want to do uh, work and product work in progress content i want to start um getting the wheel turning on on or getting people more aware of crescent memories now that i am so close uh to getting it done to make sure that there's an audience waiting to purchase that so uh that's the other reason why i want to start doing some pre-recorded content um something that's a little bit more shareable i guess i guess the stream is more shareable i don't give it enough credit that it than it probably deserves but um i've kind of i kept the streams kind of on a down low because i do like to have I like it to be a little bit more intimate with the chat. I, I've never been huge into like like huge like like chat rooms and stuff like that. I've never been attracted to that at all <laughs> growing up. Had some really bad experiences in high school when that thing was when when like uh, what was it? Uh, MySpace and Facebook really became a thing and I was shut off to that at such an early age that I I, I really have noticed even doing this stream is a bit of a leap for me. Uh, to do <laughs> and 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 but it's been a good experience and I'm glad glad that I've done it and and I'm and I'm and I'm gonna continue doing it too and here's the thing the the one stream a month thing I imagine that's gonna be probably that's going to be temporary as well um, I don't know how long that's gonna happen but I would like to because this has been such a positive positive experience I do like the idea of doing live streams it is fun to just sit here and chat with you guys and play some jag games or do some programming it's a lot of fun um, and, and so I, I imagine getting to more consistent streams in the future will happen, but, uh, until then I need to back off a little bit, get some big projects done, uh, get some more, get some playable content out for, for everybody, for you guys and for anybody else who's interested. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically, I probably, uh, <laughs> meandered a little too much here, but anyways, um, yeah, so uh, go to the Jag Corner, follow the newsletter. I want to keep doing the newsletter. <laughs> I've been a little bit lazy with that, but I'm going to, because I'm not going to be doing the streams as much, I'm actually going to be shifting over to that a little bit more um, to make sure that there's some announcements going on there. Um, but yeah, uh, sign up for the newsletter. Check out the projects. If, you, if this is your first time here, um, check out the projects. There's more information there. Uh, but yeah. Um, can't fault that reason. There's no feeling like seeing people play a game you made. Well, yeah, and and that's, yeah, that's actually that makes me really nervous <laughs> because, and that's another reason why I want to get this done is I I kind of feel like and why I'm considering releasing it for free is I there's been so many good releases <laughs> over the last few years. I feel like I'm uh, that the game may not be as good as it should be. 
the issue with that thinking is that means, oh, I got to spend another like four years working on this to get it to where I think it should be. And I've been talking to some people and they're like, no, Will, you need to just, you need to finish up with what you have. What you have is really good. Um, I, as, as it is, as it was meant to be, you need to package that up, get it out so you can move on to the next thing. And, and there are other games I want to work on um, that will be far better games uh, than Crescent Memories. And so, anyways... But uh, good. Always be nervous. <laughs> Means you care about it. Yeah, and 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 that's what it, somebody else pointed that out too. Is I, I really do care about this stuff. I want to make sure that people have something that's at least attractive to look at. <laughs> and so and 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 so I want to get this game done, get it out, uh, so I can move on to the next good thing to work on. So, anyways, um, in terms of other news, there isn't a whole lot. Apparently, Songbird Carl had a sale. Uh, I think I had tweeted about it earlier like a, a week or so ago i missed it in the announcements um i think that sale's over with though but as always check out songbird uh they have they always have releases going on i think i do have another one i i i haven't gotten into the evercade thing too much but apparently songbird has and i'm sure they have at least a handful of things they, i know they've been selling some evercade stuff if not all of it um let's see what he has oh yeah so pretty much all of it he has oh on his page and these are actually really affordable here um 20 bucks per cartridge and you're getting a compilation of what what looks like six or seven games it's, this looks like almost uh, looks like eight games there and so anyways i i've been tempted to get into this the, the this um evercade uh console but um a lot of the games especially on uh in, in terms of it's cool that a lot of these games are being resold and and here's the thing i probably should be investing in this because there's a lot of games here that have, haven't gotten any attention until now uh with the evercade and that you can legally buy licensed versions of these games through evercade is is really cool um and so i encourage you that if you do want to support these old games to support these uh uh these old games legitimately is what I should say. Um, now's the time to do it because there's a lot of games. Like I had loved it. See, this is this is the reason I love Rodland. That's one of my favorite games on the ST. And I know this is probably the arcade version. I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah, gosh, it's hard to tell. That actually. Oh man, can anybody tell me if this is the arcade version? Or not, I can't tell. I'm not as familiar with the arcade version. I've played the ST version so much, but um, but uh, Rodland is on my list. Love that game. Awesome. I would love to see this on the Jag because yeah, I I I I have been going through all the different versions of that. I did play the arcade. I don't like the arcade version of it actually, <laughs> um, but uh, don't like the arcade version at all. But the ST version, it is it is just right. And I've been playing the um. The Game Boy version, the original Game Boy version, it's really good. It's not as hard as the ST version, but it's it's a lot of fun. A very faithful port um, for that little black and white console. But anyways, but this is the reason why I wanted to get an Evercade was simply for this game. But I'm a little worried. I, I should send a message over to Carl and ask him what version of the game it is. Um, or just look it up. I'm, I'm sure there's information. But um. Yeah, I would like to get it just for this game because because I love this game so much. I want to, you know, uh, spend some money and support those who are actually putting in effort to make sure that these games have a little have some more legs on them, that have a little more life in them, uh, at least for a few more years. So, anyways, but yeah, uh, yeah. So the Evercade, uh, you can get that at least the games. It looks like over at Songbird, it looks like the. Uh, uh, the console's out of stock. Seems like I've seen a few tweets about that where they're, uh, they are producing, uh, more consoles, a, uh, a collector's edition or something like that. Anyways, uh, if any of you have an Evercade, let us know what it's like, um, if it's been worth it or not. Um, so a little Jag Studio tweet from Mind Threat, who, uh, he, he comes over to the stream every once in a while, but, um, he's been working on some projects too. He did, um, Simone, which was a CD, it was just a uh, a Simon Says game, if I remember correctly, uh, on Jag CD. It's probably the latest Jag CD release. Oh, I should have brought that up. Somebody talked about the Jag CD a few streams ago, but um, anyways, uh, he's working on something. He mentions how easy it is with just two lines of code, graphic and music assets added. 
Uh, you've got an intro screen with logo, animation, and music playing in about five minutes flat. Man, last time I used Jag Studio, it didn't go that fast. <laughs> I need to sit down with it again, though. Um, uh, Vitani, good to see you. Uh, welcome to the Jag Corner. Um, other than that, there isn't much else. Uh, again, all, as always, uh, Albert at Atari Age has, has homebrew games up for sale. Looks like um, data set user uh, got his copies of Asteroid and Gravitic Mines, which is good to see. Um, oh, I did. Uh, maybe I did talk about that sale then earlier on. And then Game Drive. Uh, I know the Game Drive is coming in stock in a few different places, I believe. Can anybody tell me where? where uh, I know there's a UK outlet online outlet that's selling it but if you could post that in the chat that'd be awesome if anybody knows um i can't remember the name of it right now but atari age does have copies of that uh, of, the, of the game drive definitely worth getting um if you're a developer i haven't i haven't actually used it for development yet i need to sit down with it and see if i can uh work that out uh, i was waiting for a linux uh version of the of the command line tool which i think there is now uh, somebody reverse engineered it because because uh, Saint was uh, working on other things. He he's a busy guy. So, but um, oh, and I love this another mind threat tweet where uh, he's tweeting at Atari to make sure that there was PSVR support <laughs> for Jaguar Missile Command, um, which uh, which would be awesome. Now, I know I've talked about this. I've actually gotten on the forums asking about things because it seems like. That would be possible. I don't know how bad latency would be and stuff like that, but it seemed like that would be a possibility. There's no going back to the skunk after using a GD. Uh, and we have GD working on the un upcoming Jack Studio update with Linux. Sweet. Yeah, I need to I need to sit down with that and get familiar with it. I need to spend some time uh, with it. I heard you can write directly to the SD card and do some things like that, which, be, which would be really cool. Where I see... Uh, a lot of potential with it is with um, it's CD releases. Um, uh, if you can set up a nice uh, workflow for doing qu quote unquote CD tiles, titles, the idea is, is it's not going to be on CD, it's just going to be a JAG GD release, but you have all that space, right? Um, uh, for your games. Anyways, uh, that's where I, I see a huge advantage. And then and then for CD development, if somebody wants to dig into that for historical or for preservation purposes, that could be very useful for CD development. So anyways, uh, that's that's really the big reason why I'm interested in it. Because the skunk board, at least for what I'm doing, seems to be enough. But again, I haven't introduced myself with it, so there's probably some nice things there. Uh, reboot that, that would be really good. So... Uh, oh yeah, you said the best part you can read from the SD card into ROM. That's awesome. No, that that is really cool. Oh, so does that make my CD comments a moot point? Because uh, if you can read directly into ROM, can you just swap the data out during gameplay? <laughs> and so you're just you're basically shifting six megabytes in every once in a while. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, I think that's about it for this. Oh yeah, so th that's that's awesome that you can do that. Um, and bank switch up to 16 megabytes. Oh, wow. So yeah, you can do 16 megabyte chunks. So basically you can have an unlimited size game at that point, it, virtually unlimited gigabytes in size and <laughs> why you would want to make a game that big on the Jag, I don't know. But, um, I was, I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, oh, it, it, it was kind of sad that we didn't get like a beat em up. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of other different game types that could utilize this, but I was playing um, the new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games. I don't know if you've played that at all. Um, really fun game, but I was I, while I was playing that, I was thinking, I'm like, it'd be really cool uh, to do a beat 'em up on the Jag CD because then you could do tons of different level types because you can load in your assets, you know. And I'm like, and so, anyways, be really cool. Uh, with Gravitic Mines, not big enough. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> no, Gravitic Mines is awesome, man. The fact that you fit is well over 20 megabytes into that cart, right? Which is nuts. That's a lot of compression. Uh, that's a lot of uh, clever compression, getting that much into 6 megabytes. So, because that's that's uh, less than a third. Yeah, that's, that's difficult, man. Especially with audio, that's a lot of work. Because um, it seems like audio doesn't compress too well. <laughs> <laughs> typically um but yeah anyways i i was thinking about the the other day i would love to do a beat-em-up on the jag um 
we I, I came up with that concept for a game called Brawl, uh, where uh, I don't know if I've talked about that project too much, but uh, uh, it's around 37. Holy crap! Down to six megabytes. That's less than a, That's less than a six. What is that? That's um like ten percent. That's a little more than ten percent of the size. Let's see here. Can, I'm not gonna do that math right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna think about it. <laughs> that is nuts. Thirty-seven megabytes. Are are you are you stretching that a bit? Is it really thirty-seven? That is that is an incredible compression ratio. Ratio. If that's what you really got. So that's amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, so there is a project I would like to get to eventually. Um, and, uh, thanks for checking on that because that, that is, that's nuts. That's a crazy compression ratio if that's what you got. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, the project was called, uh, uh, Brawl. Um, and if you look, if you can, I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know if uh, Jag Corner is on the way back machine or not. If you look at the old website, there's a page for it. But um, I have uh, quite a few sprites built up with that. Um, I, I think I have a basic basic scenario written out for that uh, game. But it was a beat 'em up. It's a beat 'em up based in in Taiwan, where you go through subway stations and stuff like that. It has kind of a uh, a modern aesthetic to it, kind of like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. See, I never played that game growing up. This is actually my first this new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game it's the first time i've ever played that i've only heard good things about the original arcade release i just didn't grow up in the arcades uh, i was uh, like 10 15 years late <laughs> to that party anyways um i was i was playing playing that game yesterday and thought of that project for the jag and i, I would like to come back to that uh eventually yeah uh, so so what was it so anything over 20 is impressive like <laughs> in my mind anything beyond 20 is pretty darn impressive impressive but um 358 43 what okay i don't know i don't know cj <laughs> that's pushing it in my book well it depends on the data right uh, if the data is is massaged enough i'm sh i'm sure you can get incredible ratios like that and again i'm not i'm not saying i'm i'm the i'm the compression ratio guru here either i i i'm only um vaguely familiar with it with the projects i've worked on and so which i've only been working on for a few years so that's but that's that's awesome that's uh more than a seventh uh of the of man that is that's nuts that is really impressive that's cool um yeah, that's almost 10%. Let's see here. I'm trying to do the math now. <laughs> do the math, Will. Come on, 64 bits. Um, ah, forget it. It's it's like 12 to 13%. That's how much. That's, that's nuts. Anyways. Cool, cool. Okay, enough nostalgia. Let's get to Iron Soldier. I want to see if I can get through another uh, third of the game, which uh, I think is going to be pushing it a little bit. We may go a little bit long on the stream today, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll give it a try. Oh, something else I wanted to look at. Should we do this? Do you guys have you guys seen the video for Yars Revenge Recharged or Yars Recharged? I guess is what it's called. Um, I was gonna just comment on that. Uh, because, and, and I've actually, I was thinking about doing some of the BCS releases here on the stream, but I don't think that's going to happen, at least not anytime soon. Um, but yeah, anyways, I thought this looked pretty good. Uh, I, I actually played Yars Revenge for the first time. I didn't have it growing up when I had a 2600. I played it for the first time um, on one of Atari's flashback consoles. I really enjoyed it. It's a really good game, uh, especially for the 2600. It's really impressive. Um, and this looks pretty good. It, it looks a little bland, maybe? Uh, but, but these recharge games for the, the two that I've played, I've played Missile Command and um, Asteroids and Gravatar. I've played three. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty good games. Um, definitely nothing to uh, really complain about with them. They're, they're, they're solid. They're not... I wouldn't say they're they're uh, game changing games, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but they they're they're good updates of the classics, and 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 I've enjoyed those. And this uh, Yars 
Yar's Revenge looks pretty good too. Um, anyways, uh, it's cool to see Atari uh, give these uh, these these classics some attention and and yeah, it's been fun playing them. So, anyways, I don't want to talk about that too much. Let's let's get to let's get to Iron Soldier. We have our awesome title card here. Just want to make sure I need to check my audio on this. Just turn it up just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to adjust my microphone. Okay. Where did we leave off? Level 7. It's probably that one, right? Yeah, it's that one. It is that one. Okay, um, don't want to, I realized I was kind of, my audio was cranked up a little too high last time, so don't want to make sure I don't blow out your guys' ears. <laughs> I look at that number, CJ, and that's still, I'm shaking my head. That, that really is, to me, quite unbelievable. Just looking at the compression ratios I get with uh, the Removers Library with LZ77 compression, which, from what I understand, is pretty good. Um, it's very rarely I get an under 20% uh, compression ratio where it's twenty less than 20% of the original size. And so, yeah, I see that number. I'm just like, holy crap, how did you do that? Um, are you mixing in, is it all 8-bit sprites? NRV2E. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to just uh, open up a tab with that really quick. NRV2E compression. And I'm going to take a look at that later. Yeah, and, and I know there's different there's different algorithms for compression that for that play nicer with other No, all the sprites are 16 bit. And see Okay, so is it, uh, is it 16 bit per pixel? Like the, um, gosh, how, how does that work? You have, you have eight bits per pixel where it's, it's up to like 36,000 colors or whatever it is on the Jag. But, um, but you're looking at a palette of 256 colors. Is that what it is? Or is it the actual 16 bit? Uh, I don't want to say true color, um, but it's where you're not using a palette is, is what I'm saying. So, I'm just trying to think if you use, are you doing any palette fades in that game? I'm trying to remember. I need to go, <laughs> it's been a couple weeks, I need to go play it again. Um, nope, the backdrop is full 16-bit, the main map is 8-bit, and all the sprites are 16-bit. Okay, so there are some 8-bit, because I was going to ask if you were using anything down in the 4-bit range. Um... But yeah, it seemed like that you were doing some palette fading here and there, but because I'm like, well, maybe he's doing he's doing some really clever four bit um, uh, sprites, and that's where he's getting a lot of compression. But but again, the audio is going to kick you in the butt. That's going to be the worst. And you mentioned that last stream how the audio was was a lot of work to get it compressed down. So you a, a balance between quality and 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 utility and compression. <laughs> so. An illegal pen, uh, Penta military airbase has, dis, uh, has been discovered within striking range of UR territory. Destroy the airbase before they can launch all of the attack planes. Looks like our capture is working too, so that's good to know. Destroy all the airbases before. Okay. Um, and I honestly don't know what we need for this. I am going to... Oh, we don't have our... Uh, our... Um, heat-seeking missiles yet so uh, let's try doing just two gatling guns and our grenades that may be all we need I don't know and I imagine we're probably gonna have to play this level a couple of times because I got to get back up to speed and I don't remember this level too much either Do, do, do. Each map is about 
1.3 to 1.5 megabytes of data, sprites, music, sound effects on top of that. Wow. Gosh. There's a lot going on in that game. Um, so the 43 megabytes makes sense to me, you know. But, um... Nice. <laughs> gotcha. Man, I hate those rocket trucks. They're the worst. Ah, oh, there's the airfield. So yeah, I think grenades was the right choice here. Maybe not. I should have had rockets for these. Uh, this may be really bad, actually. Oh, that is so cool. The jets are taxiing out. That is awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. Blow up these fools. They have all sorts of cool textures on them. Let's see if we can get a closer look. It would be awesome to see a blog post on that, uh, CJ. Um, I know you've mentioned a lot of this stuff, like in the forums um, and elsewhere. But it would be cool to have just kind of a single place just for, you know, historical purposes. And you can just point people to when they ask. <laughs> like, did you really do that? And it's like, well, I did a write-up, so I could be lying, but a lot of effort for a lie. <laughs> uh, for years, people have been hamstringing with the poor megabyte on cart save. Now there is no excuse. Seriously, if you can fit 43 megabytes on a cart, that is impressive. Like... Most, like, Nintendo 64 games weren't even pushing that. Wasn't, wasn't Orca Any Time only, like, 24 megabytes or something? Uh, you would never lie to your viewers. We trust you. Well, I know you guys trust me, but, uh, after today, with closing the stream off, I can understand why you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, I try to be as honest as possible. I've, I grew up in an environment where that was pretty darn important. It should be important for everybody, right? So, good to be honest. Uh, I wanted to do a Neo Geo 350 Max, but I didn't have any space left. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I am not familiar with the Neo Geo at all. So <laughs> you're going to have to explain what that is. <laughs> okay, I think we just need to get this tower over here. That might be it. That's a really easy level if that's all that is. Uh, the intro on the Neo Geo boasts about its megabitness when the game's view. Oh, really? So it actually lists, we can do up to 350 megabytes. Well, that's got to be it, right? That's all the towers. Oh, we have a mech out here. Are we supposed to get rid of him? Or is there another pad? I don't see another pad. Oh, we probably have to get rid of this building. Gosh, we have two of these striders out here. It's got me worried. And we have a jet. I wonder if we're supposed to get rid of him. There's no way I'm getting him with my shotgun. Well, kind of want to um, go see if we can get some repair uh, for our mech. Got a helicopter on me. Before we face those striders. I'm 
probably just have to destroy this last jet to tell you the truth. Probably nothing else beyond that. Oh, is that another? No, those are, um... Got a few hits. Got a few hits. Storage doesn't equal fun points at the 2600. Yeah, it's it's been nuts seeing some of the 2600 releases. I've, so I've been working on... Uh, I think I can say this. Yeah, I think I can. Uh, I've been working on Boulder Dash, and that game is pretty darn impressive what, for the 2600. Uh, just sound effects wise, the levels, the scrolling and everything, that is, it's incredible to see what can be done on the 2600. And then seeing some of the demos, like uh, there's there's some demos in the demo scene that are just mind blowing what they're pulling off with the, 20, with the stock 2600. It is unbelievable. Um, so I've actually, I found, uh, somebody was talking about, I was watching a YouTube channel and, and it got me poking around for assembly tutorials. And I found out that there's a few tutorials for, uh, 2600 assembly. So I'm thinking that maybe I've been, I've been trying to figure out how to step into the assembly language. So if you have any suggestions on, um, what I should do for assembly language, just realized my camera should probably be pointed a little bit closer over here. Uh, if you have any suggestions for twenty uh, for for assembly language, I was thinking about going with the Atari eight bits, um, so the computer line, uh, like the Atari eight hundred. But uh, I was thinking about doing Atari twenty six hundred. So you're saying sixty eight thousand? Maybe I should do that. I have dabbled a little bit on the Atari ST with sixty eight thousand, um, and and honestly, I think that from an interest standpoint, that may keep my interest a little bit better. Uh, because I grew up with the ST. Hmm. Well, thanks for the suggestion. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that a little bit more. That is something. It's a little further down the line, but definitely something I want to get into. Filler up. Uh oh. Enemy agents are sabotaging our transports. Protect the truck convoy from enemy fire. At least two trucks have to reach their destination to complete this mission. Yay! Escort mission. 68,000 is really nice. Lots of registers, lots of modes, and very, very similar to J-Risk when, when it comes in handy. And, and that's a huge selling point because that's one of the reasons why I want to learn Assembler so I can uh, uh, get access to more of the Jaguar magic when I need it. Um, so, hmm. The, the only thing I've done seriously Assembler-wise was altering uh, the EEPROM code. Uh, for uh, so I could uh, access it through C code. Um, it was just uh, what was it doing? I can't remember Be because you have to because parameters in C are passed onto the stack, and so you have to pull those things off of the stack in assembler code in the EE prom code. I think that's what I had to do to modify that. But um, escort missions are my second least favorite mission type. The worst being defend the tower missions. Oh, so you. Do you like do you like tower defense games, Vitani? <laughs> those little addictive mobile games, man. I've enjoyed those quite a bit over the years. Did I? Oh, I did get a new weapon. So I have these these homing missiles now, which I think we're gonna do two of those. Get rid of our grenades, um, and we may keep one grenade. Let's see here. Oh, I have the heavy machine gun. That thing is nice. We are definitely going to start using that. Did I pick up two new weapons? No, it's just one. I just didn't realize I had that heavy machine gun. Um, are my, yeah. yeah, we'll see how... I don't remember how this one goes. So, Man, I just played this a few weeks ago. You'd think I'd be able to remember, but... Nope. Okay. Oh, I didn't kill him. Ah, we're not doing good. I wanted to handle these flying guys here before we... Ow, what are you doing? 
Not doing good. That's what we're doing. I gotta be careful blowing up those silos because, uh... Oh, there they all go. They hit the silos. <laughs> Maybe I can do the box art for your game. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna be a little selfish here and say, uh, hands off. I, <laughs> I definitely want to work on that one. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the offer, though, Reboot. <laughs> oh... It'd be something I would like to delegate, to tell you the truth, because I would just want to focus on finishing the game. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I want to do it. So I have some ideas for it already, and we'll get it. We'll get her done. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I did miserably this uh, that time. We're gonna have to memorize the path a little bit here too. Uh, okay, where are you? There you are. Rid of you. No, thank you. Ah, there's a Strider. Let's see if we can take care of him sooner rather than later. Just grenade him. Hey, none of these guys are activating until the trucks get close enough. That's kind of nice. Hey, at least there aren't any barriers that we have to take into account. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Uh oh, my guys are in trouble. They're getting harassed. Get past that building. Nice. Doing good, doing good. Okay, they're turning down this way. Got another helicopter coming in, it looks like. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. <laughs> really? You're just going to go back into the city? <laughs> Gosh. of my missiles come on there we go thank you <laughs> okay where are they going did I lose one of them 
I had to have at least two. I think I beat it. Oh, failed. Ah, darn it. I must have stepped on him. <laughs> I think I did step on him, actually. So, um, do I want... Yeah, I better keep that, that Gatling gun. Okay. I think we got this. We got it this time. Come on, take off. There you are. You, and then number three, come on. Come up. Come up. Not gonna happen. Ugh. There we go. Get this guy. Really? Ugh. Lost it again. There we go. Oh, gosh. That was bad. We lost one truck. Probably gonna lose another one. Yep, we're down to two. <laughs> Gosh, this is a rough level. Come on. Ugh. Of course he's gonna go this way. Get him, thank you. around Ooh, turn <sighs> uh. Yeah, that was terrible. That darn mech Threw off my whole game. Try it again. We'll get it. We'll get it. The more I can save on these homie missiles, the better as well. Okay, come on, move. There we go. Keep hitting the pause button because you can hit the option button that switches between um, things quickly. Let me guess. I didn't. Oh, I did get him. Good. Good, good, good. Maybe I should just use my number pad. Ugh, I missed him. Took off. Down to two.
and I can't see any of these helicopters. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Shot my own truck. Not good. Ugh. Not going good. Quick question while you are playing. If a game needed four buttons, would you be comfortable with A, B, C with three? Um, no, that might work. I haven't even thought about that. It's a little bit of, there's a little bit of travel there, at least on the pro controller. I think on the standard controller would be about the same. Yeah, it's about the same travel distance on the standard controller too. Um, I think it could work as long as it wasn't, you know, you're hitting it all the time. They're all the same arc on standard pro controls. Oh, you already checked that. Yeah, so the, the arc is good. It's just, it's just a, a travel distance thing with me. Um, I think it could work depending on the game. Okay, this is not going well. We may be stuck on this this one level for the rest, rest of the stream. Uh, yeah, it's a minimum use using the mess up the standard pad. Yeah, and, and I haven't thought about that before about using three, but I think it, it could work. Take off. Come on. There you are. Okay. Well, so much for that. Probably stepping on the trucks. Come on. Just die. Thank you. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. Well, maybe I just need to follow the path more of these trucks. Stepped on one of my trucks. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Maybe good. I'm not going to catch up to our truck, so hopefully we're good. I, th 
think this is the last stretch heading out this direction. Oh great, we have a jet. No, no, no. Shoot me. I'm the one you want. Got him. Got him. No, 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 no. Got him. Oh. Where are you? I get it. I saw two trucks still. Yes, we got it. <laughs> How many times does that take? Like four? Too many. Took too many tries. Okay, let's keep moving. Got a lot of levels to get through another third of this. Uh, a bridge too far. Pentaback terrorists are dri driving bomb-laden trucks through the city. Stop the trucks before they can destroy their targets. Even the Jag having 21 buttons. It needs more. That's right. We need 64 buttons on this thing. Like, they should have just taken the D-pad and brought it down to, like, here. Then <laughs> we would have been set. <laughs> You'd also have a bat to beat people with, too. Okay. 21 buttons. You can never have too many buttons. That's what a keyboard is, right? Okay. Are we defending the trucks? No, we're blowing them up. We're blowing up the trucks. Got that. Ugh, bombers. They are the worst. Okay. I do not remember the pattern for this level. Um, I remember doing this one several times, though. Uh, if I remember correctly. And I think they parachute some guys in, eventually. Oh, and they are marked in purple. That's good to know. So I can track them down that way. <laughs> that was cool. Red skull and crossbones. Awesome. I wonder if destroying these hangars reduces how many uh, flying things there are. I don't know. We'll destroy a few of them and find out. Grab some health too while we're at it. Okay, there's another truck. Let's see if we can catch up with that guy. Got him. Okay. There's another one. I really do like this machine gun. The last weapon you get in this game is a little bit better though. And absolutely necessary for some levels if I remember correctly. Or pretty close to necessary. But Basically these standing just shouldn't exist. True. Yeah, I agree with that. They should have just done something like the Pro Controller. Though, over time, the standard controller has grown on me. I think it, in a way, feels better to hold. Um, 
just in general but but i i think the buttons on the pro controller are a little bit more comfortable to push and obviously the d-pad is quite a bit better uh, the standard controller d-pad is a nightmare because it just wears your thumb out really bad it's not good i got a bomber right on top of me let's see if i can get rid of him seen any more purple dots I mean this this map isn't that big so we don't have to walk very far to spot things oh there's one what they should have done is uh, what they did with my modded controller there we go we got done um, is the uh, the Clicky joystick has a, I don't even know what you call that. Um, kind of looks like a switch controller, but it has, um, but it works kind of like a Neo Geo, uh, like the Neo Geo Pocket Color has kind of has a, cl a nice click for all eight directions, more like an arcade stick. Um, anyways, it's nice. Uh, it's pretty much the only controller I use now, which is probably a bad thing. I should be using a standard controller and a pro controller for testing my games but uh it is really nice okay what's next out go the lights we just have to blow up a cup uh, a few factories if i remember correctly an automated defense system has gone berserk shut it down by destroying the four power plants delivering its energy yeah this one is actually pretty rough um uh Let's do grenades and then just our standard missile types. Oh, and we have we have our new weapon, which is the grenade launcher, which is helpful. So let's get rid of one. We can. Oh, we need. We can't get rid of the other grenade. I, oh no, we can. What? Oh, there we go. No. Shotgun, heavy machine gun. There it is, grenade launcher. That's what I'm looking for. And it gives you a grenade on the side. Um, and then we can go back to our heavy machine gun. We do need that. So. Okay. But the uh, the grenade launcher is really nice, especially for those striders. Makes killing those striders a lot easier. Which, there are probably a few on this one we're going to have to deal with. close enough here yeah I believe each one of these has a turret ah. gotcha oh okay. yeah We'll be needing to find some more missiles. Gosh, there was something to this level that was frustrating. It took me a few tries, I believe, the first time I played it. Um, like, it suddenly spawns in a bunch of things, something. Can't remember exactly what it was. They're not as good as normal grenades, but they are still pretty effective. And they're really nice for blowing up buildings because it's only like one or two. Got some rockets, that's good. And grenades, that's what I'm looking for. But yeah, especially with these striders, they're very useful. For blowing those guys up. Okay, let's get this one. Ooh, that was close. You can barely see those helicopters. It's so dark. Yeah, it seems like you just kind of get overwhelmed at some point. So maybe I should focus on... Um, really? Oh, I think I was shooting, shooting them too fast. You have to be careful with rockets because... Um, they can catch up, or if you shoot them too quickly, I think they blow each other up. 
seems like they do that anyways. Oh yeah, we got a big tank here. Let's see if we can take care of him. Nice, I think I got him. Ooh, got a Strider shoot missiles at me. Let's see if we can get him. Got him. Got some rockets. Got some grenades. Okay, I think we just have one more of these. Let's see if we can find it here before we die. Is this where I started? Oh no, there we go. There it is. Found you, Iron Eagle. Nice. Strafe around it, yeah. Was that all four, or were there more? Can't remember. Yeah, that was it. Cool. Nice. Hey, getting past that escort mission. <laughs> Suddenly, things are going a bit smoother. That was the last power plant. You shut down the defense system and made the area safe again. Good job. Good job. Oh, I skipped a level. Whoops. Oh, man. This one's really nasty, if I remember correctly. Penta troops are trying to capture a major industrial center by airdrop. Stop this attack. Yeah, this one is rough. Let's see here. Um... Definitely want my machine gun. Do I want... I kind of want my grenade launcher because uh, I think what would make this level easier is by leveling... There's some skyscrapers between the two areas. They keep dropping units. And if you blow those up, it may make things easier. So maybe if we do a grenade launcher with homing missiles. Let's give that a, let's give that a try. A good old college try. Just got to remember exactly where, I can't remember exactly where, oh, over here to the left it looks like, yep. And then you want to make sure you get these striped ones destroyed first because they are, uh, I'm glad we did this, because they're the, um, the, the rocket tanks make things very, very inconvenient. Um, and yeah, we got the Strider guy we need to get rid of. Yeah, the grenade launcher is so nice. Uh, really nice. Seems like they sent it. Yeah, there's this string of helicopters that comes in consistently too. So... And I don't think these buildings need to survive in order to beat the level. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Get rid of these guys. And you can just shoot anywhere in the... The hitbox for these is really big. Um, so it makes it pretty easy to hit them. I wish you could blow blow up these uh, drop ships. Be pretty cool. 
I like how they roll out. It's so cool. Neat little details. They they really did do a good job on this game. Um, ah, nice. Yeah, it seems like if we just kind of sit here, we should be able to handle everything that comes our way. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we need to go this way, too. Can't remember... <laughs> it's so much fun. I like that. Really like that. Ah, crap. We have a bomber. Ah, he's going to drop on us. There we go. There we go. Get rid of this bomber. Or maybe he blew himself up. Maybe he blew himself up. You know, I haven't really tried to see if I can blow up those drop ships. I just assume you can't. Um, maybe I should. I, I have a... Do I... How many homing missiles? Uh, probably not enough. I imagine they're pretty rough to blow up. Okay, we have another Strider coming in. In fact, he's going to give us some trouble here in just a second. And you, come on, stop and turn around. Gotcha. Okay. Go pick up this box. See if there's anything useful. Probably should go heal, but... Not too worried about that right now. Actually, surprised we haven't gotten another dropship in. Maybe I have to come over here. There we go. Take these guys out. Watch out for this guy shooting missiles. Get caught up to him here. Got him. And yeah, we do have another drop ship over here. Got a tank that's rolling around my legs. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Oh. Ah, darn it. Got him. Got him. Okay, where are we at? I need to walk back. Ah, uh, I see. He was hiding from me. There we go. I think we got him. I think we got them all. The drop ships might be hittable if the homing missiles uh, reticle targets it. Yeah, they're probably way up. Uh, which makes it hard to hit it with the, uh, you know, your machine gun and stuff like that. I should try it one of these times. Um, and we'll try it on a later level. I think there's another level that has drop ships, like this one, Air Patrol. <laughs> Destroy all the warehouses in the city and collect the supplies found there. But be warned, Penta is called an airstrike against your Iron Soldier. Okay, so we definitely want homing missiles. Uh, we definitely want the grenade launcher. I think we're set. Uh, because the grenade launcher is really nice for uh, leveling a city as quickly as possible. Just 
seeing what's around me here. Let's focus on these guys. You know, the last time I played this, um, it seemed like you can finish this pretty quickly if you know where all the supply boxes are. <laughs> second one I think I did yeah I think we're good okay uh, where to next make sure I don't miss anything over here Ooh. okay let's go over here Don't get them quite high enough. There we go. That's better. Get him, get him. <laughs> it's not going to get him. Get you myself. There we go. Oh, and these bombers, they keep coming in too. Gotcha. Okay. Grenade. Ooh, got restocked on grenades. That's always good. Okay. Got a strider. Or, uh,. What are they called? They're not called Striders. They're called something else. I keep changing their name. Um, they're the things, the satyrs. They're satyrs. Little uh, half goat, half human creatures. Probably because they have chicken legs. That's why they, they do that. So, Okay. Coming in for another pass. Hitting them. Should probably spend some time cleaning up the sky. Nice. Nice. Oh, don't need to worry about you. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to worry about them right now. Just need to make sure I picked up everything. I wish they had a button like in first person shooters where you can. Uh, yeah, I think I got everything over here. We're good. Um. where you can uh, quickly toggle between um, uh, your previous weapon and, yeah, between two weapons, basically. Dropships might be, oh, I already said that. Well, that must be it. That was the last supply box. Yay! Perfect. You successfully escaped the enemy planes and collected a large amount of valuable supplies. And... Okay. Rebel Yell. Terrorists have taken control of two Iron Soldier units on the outskirts of the UR. Destroy the two units before they begin damaging buildings inside the UR territory. Okay, this one's... Tricky. 
I, th I think. I may be mixing it up with another level. Okay, we're gonna get rid of our homing missiles. I'm just gonna do normal missiles. I'm wondering if I should switch over to my chainsaw. Let's give it a try with this. That grenade launcher is really useful here as well. Um, maybe I can take out one of these mechs with my rocket launchers and then the other with uh, uh, with my grenade launcher. far <laughs> there we go find that first mech here um i can't remember where he's gonna be to be honest i don't oh they may be timed actually on this level if i'm Maybe. Oh, there's one. Let's get him first. No health. Okay. close to him. Let's see if we can just knock him out here. Ooh, there we go. We're just far enough away from him. Ah. Die. 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 <laughs> Die. Thank you. See if we can go find some health here before that other mech shows up. That was close. Okay, got some health. Should I try restocking here? Let's head back. Let's go find some more health and then we'll see if we can get restocked on everything. And then we'll go head back and see if we can find the other mech. I need one more. There we go. Okay, there's that. I have a bomber coming in or a jet. Looks like a jet. Hopefully he isn't going to cause too much trouble. Okay, we're repaired. Let's see if we can stock up at these factories or warehouses over here. and some rockets there's some grenades there's an empty thing oh don't hit me Whew. more grenades that's good health I am going to save that What time is it? 7.26. I think we're doing good on time, actually. All oh, those were empty. Rockets. Okay, we have some rockets. That's good. Oh, that's not good. Die. Nice. Dodge those missiles. Okay. 
So that other mech is going to show up here soon. I believe he does show up over here. So, so we're going to try to... Be nice to get a machine gun reload too before we call it a day. Don't know if that. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh no, I didn't get it. Never mind. Okay, there's our other mech. Let's see here. Half rockets. We may just get up close and personal with them. We'll see. Okay. We stay just far enough away from them. Those rockets don't hit you. He has a chainsaw too, I just realized. So, definitely don't want to... Um, get too close to him if we can help it. Okay. I need to go get some health again. Let's see if we can go find... There was some over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Pick that up. We may want to go track down another here as well. It would be nice to get some more rockets too. I'm not going to count on it though. Yeah, both empty. Give me something. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. in a little bit. Slowly we'll pick away at him. got to get away from them. Getting too close. Ooh. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh. Hey. Okay. Should we try taking them out with our gun or should we go restock? That would probably be the wise thing to do to go restock. We're going to go give that a try. What I need is health. Ugh, we're so close. Ooh, health. Grab that. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. Rockets. Good. Grenades. And rockets. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Really close. Doing good, though. It's only 7.30. Man, I almost want to... Let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Let's get through this last level, and I may call it a stream here. I'll talk about... Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, my stream changes again here at the end, just in case other people came in late. Penta has uh, has built a military. Oh, there's a typo. Penta has built a military base dangerously close to United Public Territory. That's what you are means. <laughs> Don't leave a single building standing. Yay! This is where the grenade launcher is nice. Um, so we're just going to use rockets and grenades. 
should be good to go. And you kind of pick up ammo as you go along, which is nice. This guy's pelting you right at the beginning, of course. Seems like I had to play this level a few times. The mission should have been called Professional Homewrecker. <laughs> That's way better. Okay. Almost done with this flat. There we go. Ready to move on. Pick this up. Clean up the skies a little bit. Him. There we go. Okay. Boom. Boom. Come back. Gotcha. I've got these guys hovering over my head. Just do circles until you find them. Man, he was tough. Gosh, I got blitzed by a ton of helicopters there. Triggered an event, makes them all spawn. Three grenades for these skyscrapers. Ow. Oh, got a... What are they called again? <laughs> Satyrs. There we go. <laughs> Keep forgetting. I just want to call them Striders. Such a cooler name. Uh, that wasn't far enough. Pick up this health. We're going to need it. Is that another one? Gosh. <sighs> there we go. Felt it nice, didn't it? Man, I may be up a creek here. Not doing good. Bunch of striders heckling me, or s satyrs. <laughs> Hit everything except for the guy I was going for. Yeah, this isn't good. I need health. I think it's done, guys. Let's see if we can. Oh, there might be some health in there. 
Nope. Got two striders. <laughs> That's it. Man, the night missions look far nicer. Yeah, they look pretty good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have this dumb FMV. It's a cool FMV, it's just you can't skip it. That's a problem. That is a problem. You get to watch yourself die again. Because, you know, that was great game design. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this level is a little bit darker. There, there are some night missions that are kind of a little too dark, in my opinion. They just... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Get rid of the rockets. We're going to rely on our grenades for blowing up buildings. And then we're going to do homing missiles because we have a lot of flying things um, that we spend way too much time on. Okay. One thing that makes this level difficult is how long it is. Uh, so if you do die, it takes a while to do the level again. So, homie missile. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, there we go. Makes things a little bit easier. Hopefully we'll actually pick up some homie missiles as we progress. And it seems like they encourage you to take this slow as well. Um, that way you don't get overwhelmed. Save that health for later. Yeah, I like how there's a whole swarm of helicopters over there. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the homing missiles are a good choice. <laughs> we are doing much better this time. Okay. Let's see if any of these things will allow us to restock. Nope. All empty. Oh. We should go back over here and see if we can get more grenades. We're going to need them. Going to need them. Yeah, this this mission as a night mission. This is almost like a dawn, like the lighting. It does look good. Like how those repair boxes highlight. Looks really nice. Some grenades. Would be nice to get some homie missiles as well. There we go. That should be good. Good enough for now. We're going to be blowing up quite... A wow, there's two more of these guys. Really? And they're going to go run off in their directions. Alright, okay, let's see if we can get some of these guys. Before they start really causing me trouble. That's good. Just 
just need to pick up everything now because we are running low. Oh good, homie missiles. Get some health. Got some grenades, that's good. Got all these tanks following me. There we go. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's clean up the skies. Where are you? There you are. There you are. There you are. Got you. Nice. We do need to get healed here. Let's head back, get some health. Maybe there's some health here. Nope. No such luck. There's another satyr. They probably just continually spawn. I had to imagine. He's just sitting out there. Maybe they stop moving once I get far enough away. Gosh, it doesn't seem like they usually do that. It seems like they usually do their, you know, pick a direction, go until you stop, then turn around, pick another direction. The AI is pretty simple on those. Okay, let's hike all the way back over here. Okay, I have some grenades. I have, like, one homie missile left. I need to find some more warehouses, I guess. Yeah, let's go over here first. Let's get it out of the way. Got two satyrs. Oh, and I think we do need to blow up these water towers too. You almost have to ignore the satyrs. You just have to keep moving. Just worried if I get more than two on me. It could be really bad. Okay, there's some health. That's good. Need more grenades. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Two sets. Really good. Um, we're going to have to take care of some helicopters here, but I'm pretty much out of homing missiles so we have to do it the old-fashioned way with lead okay Okay. He's going to go pick a vector, run in that vector for a bit. Ooh, machine gun reload. That's nice. Do I have more homie missiles, or do I still just have... Yeah, I just have the one. Well, let's use it. While we're here... Oh, good. That bomber destroyed himself. Ow. Just got pelted by something. We'll grab this. Oh, I have a bomber on me. That's what's going on. Probably have another one. Yep, got two. 
There we go. These guys gonna start. Oh, man. There, he blew himself up. Yeah, they're the worst. Ah, use my last homing missile too. Let's see if we can go get some health here before dying. I should probably pick up these boxes. They may have homing missiles. There we go. Let's see if we can take out some of these jets. Get them. Get them. <laughs> oh, got a repair at least. Got another helicopter on me. I should get this last one too. While I'm here. Get this other jet blown up. Okay. Head back over here. We're going to finish up these outer areas and then we'll move into the center. It seems like that's how I beat this level the first time. Man, those pickups do not give you enough homing missiles. Grenade the helicopters. <laughs> okay, got plenty of grenades. Would be nice to get another homing missile, though. Okay, I think I got, oh no, there's a couple installations out here. That's the trick to this level. They put a few stragglers out here off of the main infrastructure. So you're bound to miss them. There's one right out there too I need to take care of. I'll go take care of that right now while I'm thinking about it. Don't want to be too close to them when they blow up. Yeah, it looks like the striders just constantly respawn. Nice. Okay. Bunch of satyrs out there. I think we just have a few more buildings this direction. We'll be good. Don't think I got that building. Ah. 
And that may be it. Unless I missed a... Uh, oh, I missed... Oh, we got it. Good. Whew. Yeah, it's just a long mission. Because <laughs> you have to get rid of everything. What was that? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Almost 15 minutes. 14, 21. That's good, though. We got through everything I wanted to get through. And more. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got through a lot of levels there. So that's good. We'll do the last five levels tomorrow. And we'll, uh, yeah, that will be it for Iron Soldier 2. All right. Yeah, switch back over to the big camera. The big screen, or the big view. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, uh, if you came in late, uh, just to reiterate, and if you already heard this, you can go on your way if you wish. But um, uh, if you did come in late, uh, see you, Vitani. Um, let me turn the music down on this. There we go. Um, if you came in late, I just made a, uh, an announcement that I'm going to be changing up how I do the streams. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be yet. Some ideas that I've had are... Uh, I'm going to be doing longer streams, but less frequently, and also some pre-recorded content and work in progress videos. So, um, so if you do want to uh, uh, be clued in on that, um, as I figure things out, I will I will talk about this in my newsletter. So uh, sign up for my newsletter uh, if you haven't already. But I will also uh, be on the social media channels as well. I'll, I'll put out messages. I'll probably put out a message on YouTube as well. I know you can do posts here uh, outside of videos. You can just do normal text and image posts. So I'll, I'll be sure to do that as well to keep people informed. But yeah, um, it's it's been interesting to do. It's it's been It's been fun. It's been fun to do these consistent streams. I think I've been doing them for about six months, six or seven months now um every week uh with the exception i think of a couple weeks where i i missed it because i either i was really sick um i got COVID a while ago uh that was one and then there was another reason why oh i i had to go out of town uh and, and that was just a few weeks ago but um but yeah i've been consistent otherwise and and so now i know i can do consistent streaming like this um if i need to I guess that was one of the other goals with this. But uh, I, I feel like I've been neglecting uh, my JAG development side uh, of this endeavor of mine. And, and so I, I want to get back to that. I want to finish up my game. Um, I need to make that priority, get that finished so I can move on to other projects. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically what's happening if you weren't here for that before. So uh, you're just too good at this game. I don't know if I'm too good, but... <laughs> We are playing on easy, so I'm probably not that good. <laughs> but uh, thanks, thanks anyways, Matt, um, and thanks for watching. Um, Reboot, thanks for the chat. Um, looking forward to getting into Jag Studio. I don't know how quickly I'm going to move into that, but I do want to start getting familiar with it. Um, and so I definitely want to spend some. I'm going to be spending some time with it over here in the next six months or so, and getting familiar with it. I, I have another project I've been working on in the Removers Library, and I'm debating whether to shift it over to that. I'm planning on um, uh, re uh, rebuilding it from scratch because I've learned a lot with the current iteration of it and so and I'm working on my external tools with it and so I'm thinking if I'm gonna, going to be doing my external tools um, uh, programming those and changing those um, I may as well start from scratch from the ground up again and then I'll have something that's a little more optimized um, because I know a lot more than when I first started uh, so I'm thinking, I'm debating whether to stay in the removers library or to shift over to JAG Studio. And I'm starting to think that I'll, I'll probably do a shift over to JAG Studio. But that does require learning a new API there, a new set of functions and things like that. So and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, knowledge I can carry over from the removers library over to that too. So, but um, anyways, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to get Crescent Memories finished. That's, that's the main goal here need to get that done a lot of art assets that just need to get finished that's that's most of the work there are a few technical things that i'll need to reach out to to probably uh seb uh the guy who developed the removers library um specifically rotary controllers um that he doesn't have uh built-in support for that 
Um, and it's something that I would like to get into the removers library before I step away from it. And so um, I'll be sending them some messages. I may even end up paying them some money to get that done for me just so I can get it done sooner rather than later. We'll see. Uh, Matt Smith, catching next stream. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I, I'm still planning on doing these uh, Let's Plays. That's probably what these longer streams, part of the longer streams will entail. Um, we'll probably do kind of what we were doing uh, a few years ago. We'll we'll do a news dump um, and then play some games or we'll try to do both at the same time where we'll take breaks, like five-minute breaks, and go over some news items and chat and, and stuff like that. I'm hoping to get uh, Bryce back in on these streams. Uh, that's that's the other thing. It's uh, I know I'm the most interesting person you guys have ever met, but... <laughs> I'm kidding, um, but it would be nice to have a second face, a second voice on the streams um, to chat with. And, and Bryce, me and Bryce, were the way we think is quite a bit different. And it's nice to have that contrast when you're when you're when you're putting on a show, um, when you're putting together a show. Anyways, it, it's nice to have a little bit of conflict there. It makes the streams a little more interesting. Just different ideas. Um, and he is a, he is a programmer by trade. If that's what he does, and and so um, he's a lot more tuned into that aspect of what we're doing than I am. But anyways, I. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we'll see you. I'll be streaming again tomorrow morning. We'll be, we will be finishing Iron Soldier 2, no matter how long it takes. So I wanted to make sure we finish that up. Um, I still want to do Iron Soldier 3. And so maybe that's what our first long stream will be, is where I'll sit down and we'll play that for four or five hours or something. I'll find a, uh, an afternoon to do that or something. So, but uh yeah, I definitely want to get. I've I've never beaten Iron Soldier three, and so it'll it'll be fun to sit down and do that. It'll be a brand new experience for me, and probably for a lot of you as well. Is my guess. All right, take care, everyone. Have a good day, and see you tomorrow morning. Bye.